This is Twit. Who owns Discovery? So the big, beautiful bill had $85 million included for moving the space shuttle Discovery to Houston from the Udvar Hazy Center in D.C., where it is under the control of the Smithsonian. There's a couple of problems with that. Uh, $85 million does not appear to be enough to actually make the move. Uh, on average, it costs a couple hundred million to build a facility to house a shuttle, unless you're just going to put it in a big inflatable tent, which is an icky way to display it. L.A., for instance, Los Angeles, where I live, is displaying their shuttle in vertical launch configuration in a big building, and that was a couple hundred million. So there's a few bugs there, but a bigger bug is that the uh, Smithsonian said, no, this is a heist. This is our space shuttle. We have the paperwork to prove that NASA gave it to us. And I quote, NASA has transferred all rights, title, and interest and ownership of Discovery to the Smithsonian 2012. And that is part of the National Air and Space Museum's mission and core function as a research facility and the repository of the National Air and Space Collection. And technically, just about anything comes back from space and lands on Earth belongs to the Smithsonian if NASA made it or NASA paid for it through contractors. Mm -hmm. So it's a weird story because Texas isn't giving up. And this is something that the senators of Texas have been, have been beating the drum on for years. They feel they should have a shuttle. I would just like to say, as I said a couple of weeks ago, they do have a shuttle. It was a mate demate mock-up. It's sitting out in front of the Space Center Houston, which is right across the street from Johnson Space Center, on the back of one of two shuttle carrier planes. They're the only museum I know of that has a shuttle carrier plane. So you've got a shuttle, and people can actually go inside that one. So why, oh why, Isaac, I asked you, should Houston spend all this money and, and deprive DC of their shuttle? Uh, you're right. It should obviously be at the Wright Patterson Air Force Museum here in Ohio in Dayton, which <laughs> oh, is vastly more worthy of a shuttle. That's like a true politician. But I mean, it's it's a fair point to raise is, is obviously whatever the Smithsonian has can be moved to other locations. But if it's set up to basically anything coming from NASA belongs to the Smithsonian, there's an awful lot of states, an awful lot of groups, an awful lot of places that might want some of that heritage too. So not saying Texas necessarily has a, a inside track to be able to get this or, you know, maybe if they're willing to put up the rest of the money, they can get it. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think we're going to have everything stored in the Smithsonian. And, uh, you know, I can sympathize their perspective. They are the country's museum, but there's a lot of the country and a lot of museums. Just drive there. What? Well, DC is closer to me than Texas is, but well, there you go. I mean, how long but, can but it take people to load the kids in the car? Right? To everybody. Yeah, but it's an Air Force base, and, yeah, and you know, and that's an interesting fun. discussion. So, for instance, we have Jet Propulsion Laboratory about six miles north of me. Uh, it's the only major NASA field center without a museum because there's no real estate there. It's nestled in a crook in the in the foothills above Pasadena. And there is a hoity-toity equestrian center and a sheriff training facility nearby. But without taking those over, you have no room for a visitor center. So you can only go like one or two days a year to go visit JPL, which is a shame because it's a really cool place. Um, how would an Air Force base have a visitor center? Is that something they could accommodate? Well, the, the museum at right past an Air Force base, the aerospace museum there is huge. They get God, thousands and thousands of visitors. I used to go down there for my lunch break, so I was an intern back in 2000, but uh, walked up the hill at the actual Air Force Institute. Huge museum, gorgeous. If you haven't been there, go, go there, all shuttles aside. But I think um, just in that kind of context, I, I hate to say we should be auctioning off, but there's a lot to be said about asking states, what kind of visitor center are you willing to pot, provide? What kind of matching funds are you willing to offer to get this piece of American history at your location so it's close to other people to go look at? and presented best and uh might be a thing worth thinking about there but you know again if you haven't checked out the museum absolutely it's great well that's the best commercial i've ever heard for wright patterson so well done go ohio <laughs> oh boy <laughs> if you like what you just saw be sure to check out this week in space you can catch us on your favorite podcast app or subscribe to our youtube channel using the links below thanks